There was some big news today from day two of the business fraud trial against Donald Trump. The judge imposed a limited gag order this afternoon. The judge came out and issued a searing statement to Trump and his lawyers saying no personal attacks will be tolerated when it comes to his staff and to interpret that statement as a gag order. The judge overseeing former President Trump's federal election uh, interference case uh, partially granted the government's request for a gag order, actually restricting the former president from making disparaging statements uh, relating to this case. It's a stunning moment because this order that the judge imposed is the most restrictions uh, that President Trump has had on his speech to date. You've heard him on the campaign trail, on the stump, his stump speech. He often refers to special counsel Jack Smith as deranged. He's called his staff thugs, for example. Those words were heavily used in this courtroom today with this order that this judge ultimately imposed. She said that the former president, that Trump cannot use those words as it relates to the special counsel, as it relates to his staff. He can't disparage witnesses, for example. He's allowed to broadly attack the government. He can say he believes that the investigation, for example, is politically motivated, uh, but he also can't speak about former Vice President Mike Pence's role in January 6th, for example. And you know when Trump uh, attacks Pence, that is mostly what he focuses on. So it, it really was a stunning ruling from the judge, given that the government, of course, had asked for this limited gag order, she believes, and she said that this is more limited, given that he can still attack the Biden administration if he so wishes. He can say it's politically motivated. But the big question now becomes, what happens if he violates this? Do it. What's next? We'll probably see appeals, for example, what that appeal specifically looks like. We don't know yet, so we'll be looking for what the Trump team says on his language as it relates to the special counsel, as it relates to witnesses. So those are the next steps, at least at this point in this case. America is an uncharted territory. We are angrier and more deeply divided than we've ever been at any point in our history since the Civil War. And at the eye of the storm, is Donald Trump ripping families apart, threatening women's most basic rights, and running for attorney general because I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president when our fundamental rights are at stake. From the Muslim ban, to efforts to deport immigrants, to denying transgender students the ability to choose whatever bathroom they want, rolling back regulations to protect our planet, colluding with foreign powers, putting profits over people, dividing us in ways we haven't seen in generations. I believe that this president is incompetent. I believe that this president is ill-equipped to serve in the highest office of this land. And I believe that he is an embarrassment to all that we stand for. He should be charged with obstructing justice. I believe that the president of these United States can be indicted for criminal offenses. And we would join with law enforcement and other attorneys general across this nation in removing this president from office. I've always been seeing the people who say, oh, I'm not going to bother to register to uh, vote because my voice doesn't make a difference, or I'm just one person. I say one, I say one name, Donald Trump. That should motivate you. Get off your ass and vote. Will you, <laughs> will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the ass. He's going to know my name personally. I love it. <laughs> he probably is above the law, including this illegitimate president. And so, I look forward, I look forward to going into the office of Attorney General every day, suing him, defending your rights, and then going home. But one of the things uh, leading into this vote for the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, I know a lot of people are wondering, uh, whoever has this job, are they going to convict Donald Trump? Look, that 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 is uh, the number one issue. We know he's investigating. And what I'll say is I'm the only, I was the first to announce against Cy Vance. I too have a lot of issues, which is why I decided to run. I'm the candidate in the race who has the experience with, with Donald Trump. I was the chief deputy in the attorney general's office. We sued the Trump administration over a hundred times. Uh, for the Muslim travel ban, for family separation at the border, for shen shenanigans with the census. Uh, so I know how to, to litigate uh, with him. I also led the team that did the Trump Foundation case. So uh, I'm ready to go wherever the facts take me and to inherit that case. And I think, you know, 
I'd be hard to argue with the fact that that's, that'd be the most important, uh, most high-profile case. Uh, and I've seen him up front and seen the lawlessness that he can do. And What's, you believe it should happen? I, you know, I, I, I believe we have to hold him accountable. Uh, I haven't seen all the facts beyond the public, but I've litigated with him. And so I'm, I'm prepared to go where the facts take me once I see them uh, and hold him accountable. Would that bring Trump's case under your jurisdiction about, you know, what, what he has going on in New York and all his criminal activities or alleged, I'm sorry, criminal activities <laughs> going on? So, so, uh, yes. So the, the, the New York State Attorney General, Tish James, is investigating now. That was my old office. Uh, mm-hmm. And they're investigating. And then the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which I'm running to be, has an investigation. And so, yeah, the ne- I mean, it's very important. The next Manhattan District Attorney is going to inherit that investigation, which, you know, could be the most important investigation in the history of the country, right? Oh, um, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. law and democracy and things like that. Is the indictment of your predecessor politically divisive? Is the indictment of your predecessor politically divisive? 